there is a whole lot of facial hair in the bar behind me. We're here at the Nest and Nectar for the third annual Okanagan Beard Festival. And very shortly we'll be starting, the judges will be seated, we'll bring them up one at a time, we'll do their measurements. Uh, it's a cumulative score, so there's, there's actually five events in the festival. It's just a really fun and friendly way to raise some funds for a local charity. Um, we've raised a fair amount of money for Discovery House, a charity we both believe in. Discovery House helps men with long-term addictions treatment. Well, this event's been dis benefiting Discovery House for the past uh, couple of years since its inception. And what it's meant so far is a little over $6,000 in donations and spin-offs. Oh, I think it's a, it's a very unique event. I am really uh, honoured to, uh, to be part of it. And uh, next year I might grow a beard. You know, as a rookie, I would say that I'm middle of the pack. It's, a, it's length of beard and length of moustache. I chose to sponsor because it's great community involvement and uh, uh, raising awareness for a really important cause. It does create an awareness for the community that you know that people suffer and they need help from it. So. Is he competing? I am. Yes, I, I am competing. He's one. He's one and up on me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think the young guy's going to win because you know they well, might have experience, but uh, I got the, the beautiful beard. This is just the third night of the event. There are two more to come. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery. Get Castanet's mobile app, available now on iTunes and Google Play.